Welcome to Management Theory and Practice. Today we'll be covering Chapter 1, and we'll be covering managers and the management process. My name is Jessica Benavides. And I'm Philip Baldwin. Other members of the team is Shayla Allen, Ros Rosa Maria Aragon, Veronica Redondo, Joseph Bartos, and Lashana Mills. What is a manager? A manager is a person who supports and is responsible to achieve performance goals of individuals, teams, or organizations. Managers are responsible to make sure that plans are taken out effectively. Some of the functions that managers have is to plan, organize, lead, and control. It's important to plan, to set objectives. It's important to organize, to see who, who is in charge of the plan, lead, to arouse enthusiasm and control results. Some skills for managers are technical, human, and conceptual. Technical skills is the ability to use your expertise to take decisions. Human skills is the ability to work well with others. Lastly, conceptual skills are to think analytically and solve problems. Also, you have levels of management. These are first line, middle managers, and top managers. You're gonna start with your first line managers, which are the people that just keep up as your like shift managers that run the hours and keep everyone organized and on top of their task and their daily goals. They're also the people that like tell them uh, what job quotas and like uh, so on and so forth they're supposed to follow. You also have your middle managers that are just above them. They're the people that come down on your first line managers to make sure that they're making sure that the team members are actually following the positions and the roles that the company is trying to uh, stress out and push. They also take care of other various tasks for like, you know, quality uh, and quantity orders. Uh, then you have your top managers, which are your CEOs and CFOs and your board of directors. And your board of directors are the people that make the final decisions on how the rest of the company should act which is a working flow that goes down the system from the top managers, and which is your CEOs and board directors, down to your middle managers, which is your directors, and then your first line managers, which further on communicate what the top goals of the CEOs are. So what makes an effective manager? An effective manager should make sure to meet job performance and also job satisfaction. In order to meet job satisfaction, they have to have the quality of work life, also known as QWL. QWL is the overall quality of human ex experiences in the workplace. It's important in the workplace to have high QIL. This is, where, this is a place where employees are respected and valued by employers. And if they don't feel valued in the workplace, then they further wouldn't want to work in the, the job that they're at. And it goes the same with managers. If they don't like the job that they're in, then how are the you know, uh, team members supposed to work at a very efficient level? This is also known as the low QWL. You also have the roles of a manager. There are different roles. You have the interpersonal, which is someone that meets people on a personal level to make uh, everyone feel like they're all together and as one big unit. And you also have your informational, which is people that take information as tidbits and they put it together to make uh, decisions over like massive amounts of quantity of information. And lastly, you have your decisional. And decision is using information to make decisions to solve problems. Difficulties of managers <laughs> is the diversity is one of them, which is the race and sex and orientations that some people have, and like that's a big problem because people tend to judge people on it. And then also you have the globalization is whenever you go to expand on the subjects and how uh, how you can branch out to different countries and make yourself proud. Uh, you also want to make sure with diversity that by reaching out to different countries that you're not further making them very upset with what you're wanting to be in the work qualities. Um, going back to globalization, uh, many popular companies like Toyota and McDonald's are really popular because they're able to branch out to different countries and make themselves very popular. That's why they're one of the massive uh, brands that they are. And then you have, going farther with the difficulties of managers is the moral compass that they have. Uh, they have to stay on that clear path to keep themselves occupied and working, and if they don't, then they fall off the path and they won't be you known as very good managers. Uh, this is our reference, which is towards the book that we were using in the class. And then you also, this is the end of uh, chapter one with managers and management processes. Thank and you very much. Have a nice day.